Mercury, a planet that has long been a favorite subject in astronomy, the planet has been dubbed an underachiever regarding planetary formation and evolution. Still, the latest research indicates that Mercury has much more going on for it than we initially thought. A NASA scientist has just discovered new, insane findings that could change our understanding of the solar system. Subscribe to our channel for endless great content and leave a like and comment. Number 1. How was Mercury formed? Scientists believe that Mercury was likely formed the same way as the other planets, but something happened to make it different. The planet's lack of an iron core gives scientists clues about its composition. It suggests that Mercury was made up of material from the early solar system formation, 4.6 billion years ago. Astronomers' studies indicate that Mercury formed from an impact of collisions and melting which would explain the lack of differentiation common in many other planets. If these collisions stopped early in the planet's history, it might explain why so much iron ended up in its core, but astronomers still aren't sure how this happened. Number 2. The Most Eccentric Orbit Effect Mercury has an eccentric orbit around the Sun, which means its distance from the Sun varies during its orbit. This variation in distance from the Sun is more significant than any other planet in our solar system. The planet also rotates somewhat as it orbits the Sun, which causes its day to be about 58 Earth days long. Number 3. Ice Age on Mercury New research suggests that Mercury might have experienced two ice ages on its poles as recently as 30 million years ago. The coldest temperature recorded in the poles of Mercury is 220 degrees Celsius, minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. The research was done using NASA's messenger probe sent to Mercury in 2011. Scientists got a close-up view of the planet's poles and discovered ice covering at least 100 kilometers, 62 miles across both poles, which was somewhat unexpected. Number 4. Mercury's Core and Magnetic Field According to astronomers, Mercury's core is only about half the size of Earth's. Mercury also has a weak magnetic field, which suggests that the planet does not have much of an iron or nickel core, or the magnetic field would be stronger. The magnetic field is also responsible for controlling Mercury's magnetosphere, which its orbit leads to many problems for the planet, like flares and magnetic reconnection. Number 5. Great Mysteries of Mercury Based on the strange findings of Mercury's composition and lack of information on its formation, scientists have posited that Mercury was never made in the same way as other planets. Instead of forming from a protoplanetary disk like other planets, scientists believe that something else created Mercury in a very different way than the rest of the planets. Darkness on the surface Although the Sun appears very bright, don't let that fool you, it is pretty dim. The Sun is only about 1% as bright as the full Moon, which requires our atmosphere to block most of its light. If Mercury had a solid surface and no atmosphere, it would be about 3600 times brighter than the Sun. Much of this light would be blocked by Mercury's surface. Bizarre Orbit and Density Mercury has an elliptical orbit around the Sun every year, and it gets as close as 46 million miles to as far as 70 million miles. The resulting variations in heat and light cause massive geological changes that could explain why Mercury formed differently than other planets. Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun and has long been thought of as a rather oddball in planetary formation. Mercury's mass and density are much less than the other terrestrial planets, comet-sized, which seems odd considering the other terrestrial planets' rocky and metallic composition. Ice at the Poles Mercury's poles have massive amounts of ice. As many as 5.6 trillion tons of ice are frozen on the planet, which is as much water as in Lake Superior. Some astronomers believe that this water may prove that Mercury was once habitable and was even home to alien life. Number 6. NASA Messenger Probe 
NASA's messenger probe was sent to Mercury in 2011 and is still orbiting the planet. The probe has mapped 99% of the planet's surface, studied its composition, and got some excellent images of its poles. The search has also discovered ice on Mercury, which was not expected. While MESSENGER was still in orbit around Mercury, it had to perform a series of orbital maneuvers to maintain its orbit and keep an optimal position relative to the planet. One of the maneuvers, four, included a flyby of Mercury, which provided researchers with detailed information about the planet's surface features. Before the MESSENGER probe made its closest approach, it traveled at 60,000 kilometers per hour, which is about 666 miles per hour. Number 7. Surface Images Recent images of the surface of Mercury have provided unique views. The images show the view of Mercury's northern polar region, which shows the high-altitude plains and several small tectonic terrains near the North Pole. The idea was created from observations combining messenger data and observations from ground-based telescopes in Hawaii. Frozen Water The new images show that Mercury has ice throughout its surface, with many cracks in the surface where water could have frozen. It could cause the planet's poles to freeze, which would be detrimental to the Earth. Since Mercury has no strong magnetic field, a layer of ice could cause severe effects on the magnetosphere and strong radiation belt. Water ice is also found in previously unexplored regions on the planet's surface, and a few locations with methane ice in water ice were discovered. Scientists believe water cannot exist as a liquid on Mercury's surface for long periods at room temperature, because it would freeze within minutes. Strange Pits on Mercury's Surface these pits appear to result from something like volcanic activity, which is surprising because, if anything, Mercury has less heat than the Moon, not more. What's even more interesting is that these depressions are incredibly deep, leading some to believe that these could be ancient sinkholes that have been eaten away by time. In other words, we have evidence of water erosion on Mercury. Crazy, right? Number 8. Geological Processes the pressure of contraction and expansion has caused several holes, called hollows, in the surface. The hollows are formed by landslides, which have been the result of weakened and fractured rock. These hollows range in size from 0.5 kilometers to 7 kilometers across, and are considered younger than the surrounding surface. They could have also been formed by volcanic processes or impact cratering. Mercury's Orbital Resonance and Tidal Effects Mercury's eccentric orbit around the Sun causes resonance to occur with Earth. The resonance between the two planets is unique in the solar system, and it happens because of a gravitational effect known as tidal locking. Number 9. State of Atmosphere Some conflicting evidence indicates that it had a thin atmosphere in the past. Studies suggest that Mercury experienced a process similar to our own Great Oxygenation Event, in which volcanic activity caused by excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere caused a massive increase in oxygen. The studies are significant because they suggest that early Mercury was essentially Earth-like, and then it led to the development of life on Earth. A controversial idea, but one that has been gaining ground. Number 10. Cold on its poles the temperature at Mercury's north and south poles are much more relaxed than during the day. Scientists believe this is due to the planet's rotation and proximity to the Sun. Since the poles don't get as much heat as the rest of Mercury, scientists believe they may be an excellent place for future colonization efforts. There is evidence that other planets in our solar system contain ice on their polar caps, and a more significant presence of ice here could make it easier to survive there. Number 11 possibility of alien earlier inhabitants. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and it's also the smallest. Because of this, it gets about twice as much solar radiation as the Earth does. That alone doesn't mean it's inhabitable, but new research suggests that Mercury was warmer in its earliest days. The most significant indication that Mercury may have once been inhabitable is the amount of ice that has been found at its poles. Mercury would certainly be a candidate for possible extraterrestrial life based on its similarity to Earth's development timeline. Astronomers have observed the planet over the past few decades and fits a timeline of Earth's development. Number 12 possibility of harnessing energy from the planet. 
It's no surprise that Mercury is a prime location to harvest energy because the intense heat coming from the Sun and the temperatures on Mercury's surface can be harnessed. When our Sun and other stars are born, they are surrounded by a cloud of dust or nebula. These particles are so light that they create solar winds when they move away from their source. Mercury has been exposed to these winds for billions of years, making it a hot planet and ideal for energy harvesting. According to scientists' best estimates, the planet's interior contains ice rich in water and other volatile materials, which are still present in small but significant amounts. Astronomers believe that Mercury's core may be rocky due to a number of impact craters on its surface, but it could also contain iron sulfide or salt deposits. A molten core would expand when heated. Mercury is a small planet, so the material in its core would heat up quickly. Number 13. The Future of Mercury As scientists continue to study Mercury, we learn more and more about what the planet is like. The research happening at the MESSENGER mission will help confirm or deny some of the theories being discussed by scientists. What we know is that this little planet has a lot to offer, including resources that could be used as fuel or power a spacecraft. We're still learning the most about Mercury, but astronomers believe that the planet has a lot to offer in terms of resources, once we figure out how to use it. Number 14. Possible Future Ventures on Mercury We don't know many things about Mercury yet, but that doesn't mean we can't try to find out, even though the first explorations may not be for a long time. NASA is already trying to send two spacecraft that could take us further into what we already know about this mysterious planet. Number 15. The MESSENGER PROJECT the MESSENGER spacecraft, named after the Greek goddess who flew to Earth and brought messages to humanity, was launched in 2004. The spacecraft is orbiting Mercury after it completed a flyby of the planet in 2008. This mission to Mercury is the first of its kind and is helping us to better understand our solar system's little world. Data from this spacecraft has shown scientists that volcanic processes have heavily modified the surface of Mercury and that it is also undergoing active tectonics. Number 16. The Heat Death of Mercury At the end of the 20th century, scientists theorized that the surface of Mercury would melt due to the intense heat coming from our Sun. The extreme temperatures on Mercury make it a great candidate for mining resources, but they also make it a good candidate for melting through to magma chambers beneath its surface. Scientists believe that the planet has at least one lava chamber beneath its surface. With time, this heat will likely reach these chambers and cause liquid magma to form. Mercury will eventually be transformed geologically, but this process could take millions of years. Number 17. A Day on Mercury Mercury's orbit around the Sun is very close to the Earth's, but its surface rotates slower than ours. One day on Mercury lasts 1.5 times longer than a day on Earth, but it also means that a year lasts longer. One rotation around Mercury takes 58.6 Earth days, but only 88 Earth days total, which is over twice as long as one year on Earth. Number 18. Mercury's End A scientist has theorized that Mercury will be caught in the Sun's gravitational forces and eventually pulled into our star. The heat from being closer to the Sun would cause it to melt into magma, but some scientists believe that a large chunk of its core may remain after it's pulled in. The core would eventually break away from the Sun and pull into an orbit around the Sun. This process would happen in approximately 3 billion years, so there is still a lot of time until we find out if our theory is true. Number 19. Shape and Size Mercury is close to being the same size as Earth, but only has 37% gravity. That makes it even rarer than Earth in terms of atmospheric composition. Mercury's atmosphere mainly comprises helium and hydrogen, considered volatile gases. The gases have a higher ratio of lighter molecules compared to heavy ones. Scientists believe that Mercury's thin atmosphere is due to the planet being too small to hold on to these gases and keep them from escaping into space. Number 20. Equilibrium Changes Scientists believe that the temperature on Mercury's surface is so high 
that it may be able to change its magnetic field, which is affected by the heat from the Sun. Since it's a small planet, the magnetic field of Mercury should be able to change due to its interaction with its core and other planetary bodies. Researchers believe that Mercury's poles could move toward the Earth once this happens and become locked around it. The planet's pole position would change within days or even weeks. The change would affect how the solar winds interact with Mercury and could cause a storm on the surface. 21. Harsh Weather on Mercury The high temperatures in Mercury's atmosphere make it susceptible to being hit by solar winds, which is why it's also a good candidate for meteorites. Based on the data that has been collected from the MESSENGER spacecraft, scientists believe that Mercury has about five times more impact than Earth because of these particles. These impacts can cause turbulence and changes in atmosphere, but they also affect Mercury's magnetic field. Number 22. Chances of liquid water oxygen Mercury is likely to have thin surface water, but there's unlikely enough liquid water on the planet to host life. The temperatures are so high that most of the water on Mercury's surface would evaporate away. If there is life there, we would see signs of it holding onto the planet's poles. Number 23. Dust and Iron Oxide Clouds the surface of Mercury is covered in dust, which adds to the planet's already high temperatures. The dust also causes the atmosphere to be very opaque, which can make it extremely hard to analyze even with modern equipment. There is some evidence that Mercury's atmosphere is thick enough to produce clouds, but scientists aren't sure how these clouds form or what they are composed of yet. Mercury is a fascinating planet, but it's full of mysteries scientists are still trying to figure out. These mysteries will be solved with time, and eventually, our knowledge of this planet will expand faster than in the past. We don't know much about Mercury, but new missions are always coming out to help us better understand this planet. See you next time, and don't forget to follow, like, and comment on our posts.